In 2024, YouTube is more competitive than ever, but here's the secret sauce. Thumbnail. They're not just an afterthought, they're key to blowing up your channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a killer thumbnail that grabs attention, boosts clicks, and works with YouTube ever-evolving algorithm. Stay till the end because we'll cover everything from text, colors, and contrast to expert strategies top creators are using right now. So why do thumbnails matter? Well, 90% of top performing videos on YouTube use custom thumbnails. Why? Because YouTube is a visual platform. Your thumbnail is the first impression people get. And if it's not good, they're scrolling right past you. With the right thumbnail, you'll stop them in their tracks. It's not just about clicks. It's about telling your video story in one image. And that's where strategies comes in. Every killer thumbnail has one thing in common, the main character. It's crystal clear. Think of the main character as the hero of your thumbnail. This can be you, an object, or even text, but it must be the focal point. Let me break it down with three key elements. One, scale. Make sure the main character is larger than anything else. It should dominate the frame. Two, focus blur out the background or supporting elements so they don't steal attention. Three, depth. Use depth to your advantage. Position your main character closer to the camera while keeping everything else further away. Now, let's talk about text. Adding text can be a game changer, but only if you do it right. Too much text can clutter your thumbnail and confuse viewers. But the right text, it adds curiosity and context. Tips for using text effectively. One, keep it short. Stick to five words or less. Don't overwhelm the viewer. Two, add value. Text should be additive, not repetitive. Don't restate your title. Instead, add something new. Three, legitimately use large bold fonts, sans serif fonts with outlines and shadows work best to make sure your text is easy to read on any device. If you look at Mr. Beast thumbnails, you'll notice that the text is big, bold, and easy to read. It often just a number of phrase like 10,000 challenge, but it's enough to add context and build curiosity. If your thumbnail doesn't pop, it's not going to get clicks. And the key to making a thumbnail pop is contrast. In 2024, this is more important than ever because viewers are bombarded with bright, busy images. So you need to stand out by mastering luminosity, saturation, saturation and hues contrast let's break it down one luminosity contrast mix dark and light elements for example if your background is dark make sure your main character is lit up or highlight two saturation contrast keep your main character in full color while muting everything else three hue contrast use complementary colors mr beast often uses blue and oranges together because they're opposite on the color wheel, making each element stand out. YouTube is flooded with similar content, so sometimes the best way to stand out is by being different. If your niche is full of maximalist thumbnails, try something minimalist. If everyone's using red, try blue or green. Sometimes less is more. Before we dive into the next section, if you're finding value in this video so far, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm and you'll get more tips like this to grow your YouTube channel in 2024. Okay, you made your killer thumbnail, but how do you know if it's really good? The best YouTubers run through thumbnails through three critical tests. One, the clarity test. Can you still make out your thumbnail details when it's tiny in the suggested panel, use tools like ClickPilot to simulate how it'll look on YouTube. Two, the contrast test. Compare your thumbnail against similar ones in your niche. Does your pop out in the lineup if it blends in? Go back and adjust the contrast. Three, the glance test. Show your thumbnail to someone for just two seconds. Can they immediately tell what your video is about? If not, simplify it. Once your thumbnail passes all three tests, you've got something special. But here's the kicker. The pros don't stop there. They create three variations of every thumbnail. So if one underperforms, they're ready to swap it out. After you hit publish, keep an eye on your video's metrics, particularly views, impressions, and click-through rate. If your click-through rate is low, but views are high, that's fine. You're likely reaching a new audience. But if both are low, it's time to swap in one of your variations. And if you don't have time to monitor manually, don't worry. YouTube has an A-B 
testing feature that is live now that you can use to test three thumbnails. So you can upload three thumbnails at one time and it'll do all the testing for you and it will decide which thumbnail is doing the best for that video. Thumbnails aren't an exact science, they're an art form. The more you practice, the better you get. Now while your first few thumbnails may not be perfect, keep going. YouTube channel tends to grow slowly at first and then all at once. So take these tips, get creative, and start crafting those killer thumbnails. Your next viral video could be just one great thumbnail away. Let's start creating a killer thumbnail. What we're gonna do first is import media. I took a bunch of pictures for this thumbnail, okay? And then here it is. What I'm saying is when you make a thumbnail, you gotta figure out what image you wanna use. This is too dark, better lighting. All right, I found the clip that I wanna use. I need to extend the top part of the picture, how it is here, to make the ratio look the same. So I copy the image, put this image on top, and we go to the specter. We want to lower the Y position. See? And it's the same image, like that. Is it perfect? No, but I need space on the top to put your one click away. So text, title, it's just black and all under case. Okay, so boom, gonna do this real quick. Let's try future, yeah, let's use that. It's a little bit. It's definitely not full black. We can adjust the shading. So it's around, it's like a little bit darker, like around there. Okay, so then we need to press okay. Oh, so that color you use, you wanna slide this to here. That way you have a shortcut to use it in the future. Okay, and then now we're gonna change the setting on here. Make sure you click on the text and it's highlighted. Make it go up, we're gonna increase it, the Y position. Looks like it's sort of all the way at the top here. And then the text is a little bit smaller so we can add the check mark. Okay, it's not perfect guys, but I'm just trying to knock this out quick. Now we gotta get some pink cards. How would I do that? Real quick. Pixabay.com. Just type in the search check and click here. Download. And I just need the small one, so just download the file, import media, download. And there it is right there. We're going to add the check mark. So the check mark is here. Put it on top. There's a few things we can do. We gotta make it smaller so you zoom out the X like this. So you wanna scroll to the right position and then you wanna go up. You're moving the Y position to the right. Just a tad bit bigger than the font so we gotta make this smaller. And then make it more to the left, closer to the font. Now we gotta center both. So we gotta move the font a little bit more to the left, which is position. The check mark and the font have to be positioned in the center. So the spacing from the left of your and the spacing on the right has to be the same. And it looks like the check mark is actually above the Y. So we gotta make it smaller a little bit, like that. Perfect. That looks okay. I gotta move the font a little bit to the right. And move the check mark a little bit to the left. There you have it. You're one click away. I found this generator and it's called Cosmic Speed Line. Use that as thumbnail with the mouse clicking on it. Make it small so we zoom. Then we're gonna put it in the position. I'm gonna do something called a colored border. Your fusion page on the four tab, click that. Go search, type in border. 
So there it is, colored border. You have to go type in border, click templates, and there it is. So you drag this down to the middle and it'll show blue and yellow on, on the left or right. Okay, so now you have a border. So you see the difference now? This is gonna be looking different than the other four thumbnails. There you have it. Now we gotta work on the four other thumbnails that are pink. So we're gonna work on that next. Under effects, you click on the effects pool here. Click generators and then you can scroll down to solid colors, put that on top. Then you click on solid colors, go to the inspector, make sure it's highlighted. And then you go to generator, go to color to change it to the color that you want. I already have the color saved. The way you go about picking out the colors, you can click here, you know, and then you can drag this, the color to here, right? So that's how you do that. Well, that's, that's the color I want. What you do next is go to settings. Then you want to zoom, make it smaller, similar to the other size. And then move into position. Right, using the position, now we move up with the position Y and there you have it. So close this off to make that white disappear. So I would just copy, paste. So you don't have to do those settings again. Just keep pasting five, of, no, four of them. And then you just put them on top of each other, okay? Put each one on top of each other, like that. Do it slowly, okay? There you go. For the element for the hand mouse click. So I went to pixabay.com again, typed in hand click, search, and this what will pop up. So these are all free. The one that looks similar to it is this one here. So I just click that, hit download, hit the small one, hit download, boom. All right, so now I gotta go back to DaVinci Resolve, import it, import media, there it is right here, it downloads, open, drag that image to the top. Boom. Okay, so, oh no. So whenever you make a mistake like that, just put Command Z and it'll go back. All right, so we need to click here on the hand, make it smaller by using the Zoom X. Okay, so we need to move this, click screen to the left, and then move that mouse one, which should be this one, video six. Yeah, it's video six. Click the hand, and then move it to the left. Position X, move it to the left. Perfect. We're gonna need to make it smaller and then make it go higher by changing the Y position. And it looks like the thumb is touching the bottom of the image. And quick thumbnail that's just created, but I'll find the image for, the, for myself and I'll make it look more towards that thumbnail. Final product, I'm happy with how it looks right now. So we'll go to the color page, right click here, grab a steel, then we'll export it. And then we'll save it as killer thumbnail. And this is how it looks. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I got nine more to go. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out this next video on optimizing your YouTube channel growth. I'll walk you through how to take your channel to the next level.